go. Good to have you back. It's time to to work on our knowledge for a moment. America and the promise of freedom is this week's lesson from Hillsdale College. We're going to do this every week. If you missed it last week, this is a a new effort, a new partnership between the Steve Gerber Show and Hillsdale College. This week, the lesson is taught by renowned historian Wilfred McClay. And the presence of America in the world's imagination has existed since antiquity. The idea of America, the land of hope, the land of refuge, the land of opportunity, that second chance at life that so many have wanted for eternity. The promise of the West and the land of plenty, a land of hope, a land of wealth has been in the dreams of people forever. Listen to this week's lesson. They point to the presence of America in the world's imagination, even before America was settled. So where do we begin this story? Uh, History always begins in the middle of things. The Western Hemisphere in which we Americans live was inhabited by people who came from elsewhere, unwilling for the most part to settle for the conditions in which they were born and drawn by the possibility of a new life, of a new chance at life, the lure of freedom, the space to pursue their ambitions in the way that whatever old world they came from did not permit. Uh, The first settlers came across the Bering Straits from uh, northeastern Asia and filtered down into settling the continent from the Yukon down to Tierra del Fuego in South America. Um, We have the evidence of peoples who have vanished since the Inca, the Maya, the Aztecs, the grand civilizations that flourished and flamed out and died uh, in various ways, leaving behind uh, splendid remnants of their their lives and livelihood. Um, We see in the North American continent earthworks and mounds, burial mounds. They're somewhat mysterious, but that are the remnants of what we would call now native or indigenous peoples um, in ordinary American places over the Midwest and the South. Um, We see remnants in the West of the cliff-dwelling peoples, the the Anasazi, or uh, use the Navajo name, Pueblo peoples, uh, who are, are no longer there but have left behind these structures. There's something haunting about this. Uh, these these civilizations that were and have gone. Um, it's haunting, too, to think of the earliest explorers before Columbus, the Leif Erikson, who tried to start a colony uh, on the Canadian, what is today the Canadian island of Newfoundland. Uh, he and other Norsemen were uh, trying their best to establish a settlement, uh, and in a sense, they are the, they could be called the beginning of American history, but not really. They're more like a false start on American history. And yet, they point to the presence of America in the world's imagination, even before America was settled as an idea, the presence of America as an idea, a land of hope, a land of refuge, a land of opportunity, of that second chance at life for those willing to take it. It may seem a little bit fanciful to attribute that motive to the Asiatic, the first Asiatic uh, immigrants uh, to the Western Hemisphere. They didn't know, we don't know anything about what they were doing. They didn't leave any any, um, remnants to indicate one way or the other what they had in mind. Uh, We do know that the Norse explorers were motivated by an impulse to explore, to find new lands and settle them. Uh, So they were drawn by something more than just necessity. They were drawn by this prospect of a new world, of a new start. And this was true a thousand years after Christ and 500 years before Columbus. There was already a mystique about the West. It was in the literature of antiquity. The ancient Greeks spoke of the Isle of the Blessed, 
uh, Homer located the Elysian fields in the west. That was where uh, the stream of the world's seas flowed. Um, centuries later, Thomas More's Utopia, Francis Bacon's New Atlantis, these are all uh, expressions of the same theme, the promise of the West. So it's been thought of for a long time as a land of plenty, a land of wealth, a land of hope, of an anticipation of what a new world could be. A new world, the American dream, as you can see, the American dream as we know it, was there for centuries before this great experiment that we call America was finally put together by our forefathers, by those that founded this nation. By the way, you can enroll for free in the great American story, a land of hope. It's one of the many in-depth courses available, and it will counter the far left's false narrative about America. It will destroy what they tell you, what they want you to believe about America, that is just simply not true. Accurate American history, teaching yourself so that you can teach others, including your children and grandchildren, or people at church or anyone you meet. Arm yourself with knowledge. Sign up now at Go. GruberforHillsdale.com, GruberforHillsdale.com, go there now, GruberforHillsdale, that's F-O-R, dot com, and arm yourself with knowledge about America and its greatness and who we are. What we're seeing across the world right now, that is not the America that we know and love, the America that stands up for individual freedom and rights, but that's what we're based on. That is the core of who we are. Again, sign up now. Gruber for Hillsdale.com. It's free. And you can learn this lesson and so much more. Quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 